Moments like these are considered important milestones in many people's lives. In the African tradition, marriage is a celebrated ceremony that the society expects its members to accomplish. In a traditional setting, our parents always warn us against finding marriage partners from our same clans. They say this is to prevent a couple from having offsprings with abnormalities. But the evolution of science has discovered that these abnormalities are as a result of genetic code disorders. A biologically compatible couple will have normal offsprings, whereas an incompatible couple will bear children that are vulnerable to non-communicable diseases, especially those affecting genes. The School of Medicine of Makerere University harbors the genetics laboratory. It is here that all conditions concerning genetics are handled. Senior genetics consultant at the lab, Dr. Wayengi Ramikasi, says once copulation happens between a couple, the traits of their offsprings, like skin color, behavior, reasoning, and body size, among others, come from their combined DNA, the carrier of the genetic makeup. It also codes for uh, other aspects of uh, our lives, including predisposition to disease. Dr. Mikasi says this is why it is important for the two to carry out a series of tests before they say I do to one another. Because we are getting to learn that actually almost all the diseases are dictated uh, by genetics, including infectious diseases like malaria uh, and uh, HIV. He says a one-off DNA test can establish several conditions, but it takes time and is costly. Dr. Wayengera says an alternative of genetic counseling is better. Which actually we define as an interface between the, the patient or relatives or a group of people in order to understand their predisposition to disease. That is in terms of social predisposition, what tests can be done and what plan is possible. Changes in the environment have also resulted into new waves of illnesses some of which are lifelong conditions. In the past, we had diseases that we classified classically as uh, genetic diseases, and then we called other diseases non-genetic diseases. But our understanding today of, um, of uh, disease is increasing with time. Conditions like albinism, vitiligo, autism, hypertension, spina bifida, asthma, and sickle cells, among others, are known to be hereditary diseases. This means the offsprings are either carriers which makes them immune or will fall ill of such conditions. And the best example I can give you is people who are persistently exposed to HIV and they don't contract HIV because of a mutation in the one of the genes that code for one of the core receptors, uh, CCR5. Dr. Wayengera told us why it is important to have genetics counseling. To either enable diagnosis, if the diagnosis has not been done, then the diagnosis should be, can be made there and then. Number two is to educate you about the risk, the possible risk of transmitting this to your offspring. Number three, if, 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 you are, if we realize that, okay, you are suffering from this and most likely your offspring are going to suffer from this, what are the options that are there hmm, uh, for treatment? And how will you likely respond to these treatments? After the counseling is done, the doctors will leave the two to take a decision of their choice. But this is his advice. This is the problem. Uh, you will not be able to have... Um, viable children, you just need to go separate ways. Whereas the decision may be hard to take, Dr. Wayengera says the side effects are much more costly than going separate ways. For example, the woman may suffer repeated miscarriages. So you have a scenario where a woman gets pregnant, produces a girl. Then the next pregnancy, girl. Then she miscarries in between. 
and then the next pregnancy, a girl, and then miscarriage in between. You need to be able to think about the possibility that this could be an X-linked um, disorder that is uh, inherited dominantly that is leading to these persistent uh, miscarriages. And these miscarriages are miscarriages of the male fetus. So every time this, child, this woman conceives a male, a male um, fetus, uh, that fetus is miscarried because the male fetus will always be carrying this disease. And because that disease is not compatible to life, nature prefers that it is eliminated even before uh, birth. According to the World Health Organization, non-communicable diseases are on the increase worldwide. But Uganda has no clear documentation on the burden caused by the NCDs. The World Health Organization worries that failure to follow up such conditions may lead to low research to establish ways of handling the conditions and thus preventing them. Walter Mwesije, NTV.